Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Espero que están teniendo un muy buen, buen día. Es noche aquí, entonces si es noche ahí, espero que están teniendo un muy buen noche. So, how are y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day, or if it's night, hope you're having a good evening um, and night. So, there has been another update. I have been working my butt off. Like, when I tell you, <laughs> I... I'm trying to keep up with all the news and the videos and I just, I, I'm like stuck in front of the computer because I, I, right after I do one video, here comes the next update and I have to do the next one. I've never ever in my life had to make these, these many videos. So anyway, we have another update before we get started on this. Please, 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 please go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit and smash that subscribe button as well. And I'm looking forward to hearing what your comments are. Leave them in the comment section below um, on this whole situation, especially as we talk about it here in just a little bit and we learn more about it. But yes, go ahead and hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, um, and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Apparently, y'all, the FBI has finally entered the chat, the surviving Didi chat. It's about time, right? All of this essay accusations, all of these epically wild accusations, and it took them this long to enter the chat. But apparently, they logged on to the chat <laughs> as soon as uh, Shug Knight started opening his mouth and doing all of this stuff, right? And I don't think they can do nothing to Shug Knight. I mean, because, you know, there's a bunch of powerful people behind this whole thing that are even stronger than Didi. But now that Shug Knight has opened his mouth, if any if anything happens to Shug Knight, the whole Hollywood is, is going to crash and burn because that's going to open Pandora's box. So the people, all of the people involved in this, nothing better happen to them. Because if anything happens to anyone, they're all screwed, right? Like, I don't even know how the more powerful ones are going to get out of it. I think some of the more powerful ones will be able to get out of it. The rest of them will be screwed. Um, so the rest of them that maybe aren't as powerful. <laughs> Y'all, FBI has entered the chat. So let's take a look. Let's 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 take a look as to you know what's going on here. Like his uh new news. Same time he beat out a mother uh what's a little girl name uh Cassie or whatever. He had an assistant by the name of Capricorn. He felt Capricorn Cap was keeping his shit on a low about if she was messing with Cuddy or not. Puffy beat the shit out that It was an Interscope person. The Interscope's check that paid her to settle for you wouldn't go to jail. Y'all, not Shug, not snitching on Diddy and setting the FBI on him. Shug is coming out to reveal some more insane stuff about Diddy and the insane things that he has been doing all these years. Y'all know how Cassie's lawsuit exposed Diddy for being a bad guy. Well, Shug just took it up 10 levels higher and he exposed Diddy for abusing way more women in the industry. And actually, so y'all, like, Shug is boy he's going and he's talking and he's ready to reveal the whole thing um and 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 he's re he's revealed <laughs> a lot of it already y'all so he, he's going in actually putting hit out on people y'all better get on this because should came with a t and he made sure to spill every single drop then they said he slapped j cole for taking up for kendrick lamar i had to do some research about that because why would you slap him because he took up for kendrick lamar what did he take up for him about his hiatus i don't know okay let's keep going they said he blew up kid cuddy car because he was dating cassie yes i heard that one then they said allegedly he got kanye house broken into because he thought kanye's house was kid Cudi. he thought cassie was messing with kanye whole time cassie was messing with kid cuddy y'all remember how i said that the industry is after diddy and they're going to be trying all they can to bring him down well it looks like I was right on that because Suge Knight is now jumping into the drama and girl, the revelations that he is now making about Diddy are just insane. If y'all thought that Cassie's lawsuit was bad enough, well Suge's latest revelations have taken things from being bad to being way worse than we could ever imagine. Now for some background context, Suge and Diddy have been enemies for almost 30 years now because their rivalries go way back. For those who don't know, they were both at the center of the rap industry's East Coast versus West Coast beef that went on for years and caused a lot of chaos and destruction in the industry. Suge owned Death Row Records and he had Tupac Shakur as his prize rapper, while Diddy owned 
Bad Boy Records and Biggie Smalls as his fighter. It's no secret that Tupac and Biggie didn't exactly get along great with each other and they had a lot of beef. In fact, everybody in Death Row hated everybody in Bad Boy and this plays a big role in why people believe that Diddy put out a hit on Tupac to take out his competition. Now, I'm not saying for sure that Diddy put out a hit on Tupac. Well, y'all, I just covered this in my last video. If you want to watch that to get the full thing, you can. But allegedly, and I fully believe it, after that, seeing all of the evidence that I've seen and all the information I've seen that he did delete Tupac. And I also believe he deleted um, Biggie. I think he did them both in. I think he did them both in. Does this animal seem like the type of person that has ethics or any type of um, ability to bond with anyone or have friendships with anyone or give a crap? Morality? I think he took them both out, okay? Tupac, Keep D, who recently got arrested in connection to the murder, revealed that Diddy put out the hit. And he even paid out $1 million that he promised to whoever managed to take Tupac out. So the story that is circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money. I heard. To, to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to, to Keefe and that. Yes. But he never gave the money to But him. thank God he never gave him the money, right? Think about it. If he gave the money, Puffy would be in prison now, money for hire, a murder for hire. So thank God, if it's just a true story, like I'm not saying yes or no, but if he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been- um He told on himself, if it's a true story, I'm not saying yes or no, he forgot. He was just like, oh, oh, oh well, 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 I'm not saying yes or no, sir. You know, that's exactly what happened. He was so desperate to get rid of Tupac that he paid a million dollars to get it done. And it was because Tupac was not with it. Tupac was looking at all this weird stuff that they was doing over there. And he was like, so you mean to tell me that you are potentially going to be preying on little boys and little kids? I don't think so. And Tupac was was about to um, out all of them. And because Tupac was like, what are y'all You This is so weird. What are y'all doing? This is like the weird, what are y'all doing? And Tupac was like, uh, this is weird. I'm not with it. And that's why they that's why they took him out. He was so threatened by a real man. Because he doesn't he ain't never seen a real one until Tupac. And he just couldn't deal. He had to pay a million dollars to get it done, y'all. Murder for hire and puppy be locked up. Keith even revealed that the FBI was able to trace the money, confirming the Diddy paid out, but it didn't get to Keith. Uh, the FBI said they were just zip. So the FBI told you he was a dirty motherfucker, yeah. So the FBI told you the zip kept that money. So they said the zip's a dirty motherfucker. Everybody cross you. Now, Keith didn't exactly admit that he took Pac out on Diddy's orders because he would have pretty much outed himself. But I think we can all agree that he made that clear when he said that Diddy paid out the money. I mean, if you're putting a $1 million bounty on somebody's head in 1996, then you want them going bad, bad. Child, putting that amount on somebody's head in 2023 is still crazy. So imagine how desperate Diddy was to allegedly have Tupac taken out back then. Apart from the whole thing about the East Coast versus West Coast beef, there were also reports that Tupac was making plans to out Diddy for being gay in an upcoming song. Back in the 90s, being exposed for being gay was pretty much a career killer, and Diddy was not about to let his career go just like that. I mean, he tried to even end Wendy Williams' career when she spoke on his sexuality back then, and it got people talking. Uh, there was a radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. Wendy already had people talking, and the last thing that Diddy needed was someone as big as Tupac confirming the rumors and outing him. And people believe that this is why he had to act fast. He was smart enough to allegedly plan out the murder at a time when Tupac was involved in a lot of personal drama. Earlier in the night of the day he got shot, he and Suge were in the MGM Grand Lobby when someone on their entourage, Trevon Lane, spotted a man named Baby Lane who had robbed him of his death row chain a couple weeks before on Diddy's orders. Tupac and the other members of the entourage jumped Baby Lane, who turned out to be Keith D's nephew. A couple of hours after that, Tupac was gunned down with Keith D in the car. Of course, it was believed that the drive by was revenge for him and his people jumping baby lane but from what we now know it may seem like diddy was more involved in it than we knew after all he had to protect his gay secrets oh and y'all keep that in mind because we're gonna get to this in a bit after tupac was killed he had to protect those gay secrets by any means necessary
using women to cover it up as women as objects, the same women that he's beat, beaten, hitting left, right, center. And then he took Tupac from us on top of everything else. This animal, this monster, I believe it. I believe that this is exactly what happened. That is what I believe. I said what I said. Death Row Records pretty much fell apart and crumbled. Like I said, Tupac was the biggest artist on the label and when he passed, well, things just turned to dust. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg left the album and Suge went from being one of the top label owners in Hollywood to losing that spot. So if there is one person who so badly wants to see Diddy eat dust, it's Suge. And the thing is that Suge has been very vocal about how much he doesn't like Diddy. He has never tried to hide it or do that fake Hollywood stuff where he pretends to have forgiven Diddy and all that stuff. Nope, he hates Diddy and he has always stood on business about that. So when Cassie came forward last week to expose Diddy for his abusive nature and for treating her so badly, Suge probably did cartwheels or something in prison. Oh yeah, Suge has been in prison since 2018 or so, and he is serving 28 years for voluntary manslaughter in the 2015 Hidden Run case. He was sentenced to 28 years in prison and will be eligible for parole in 2034. Anywho, while Cassie's lawsuit might have left the rest of us shook AF, Suge wasn't so surprised because he has always known the type of man that Diddy is. I mean, a man who is allegedly willing to take out one of the best and biggest rappers that the world has ever seen isn't exactly a man who is going to blink twice before putting his hands on the woman that he's with. And child, Cassie's lawsuit was nothing short of horrific. I mean, the things that Diddy did. He doesn't have to be with her to put his hands on a woman. I don't know if I don't know how he got to the point of feeling like he could put his hands on his own assistant. I don't know if they were doing. I don't know, but this person, y'all, did to her and forced her to do. Yeah, Suge might as well make some room in his jail cell because people want to send Diddy straight to jail because the allegations were so horrific. Cassie's lawsuit was 35 pages long and that was the first indication that it was about to be nasty. And boy, was it nasty. Girl, the court documents even had a trigger warning. That was a second indication that it was going to be a sinking mess. But nothing could have prepared us for the horrific things that we saw in the court documents. The lawsuit started out by revealing that he essayed Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave him. Often punched, beat, kicked, and stomped on Miss Ventura, resulting in bruises, burst lips, black eyes, and bleeding. Forced Miss Ventura to engage in intimate acts with male SWs while getting off on it and filming the encounters, demanded that Miss Ventura to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is, and introduced Miss Ventura to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addictions. The lawsuit then went on to talk about the extreme ways that Diddy put paws on Cassie and left her hurt physically and emotionally. Like the time they were on their way home from a party and Diddy got mad for some reason and he decided to take it out on Cassie. The court document said, Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura repeatedly in an escalate, including by kicking and hitting her. He forced her out of the vehicle on Fifth Avenue in New York City. She was eventually able to hail a cab and get to her apartment in Manhattan. Or the time she and Diddy went to a club and Cassie started a conversation with a music manager in the club. I mean, it wasn't like she was trying to sign with the other man, but Diddy got so mad that when they left the club, Mr. Combs beat Miss Ventura, pushing her. Yeah, we heard these stories. And they are simply crazy. Cringe, crazy, animalistic into a corner of the vehicle and stomping on her face. When the car arrived at Mr. Combs' residence, Miss Ventura attempted to run away, but Mr. Combs followed her and proceeded to again kick her in the face. Miss Ventura was bleeding profusely and was ushered into Mr. Combs' home, where she began to throw up from the violent incident. And y'all want to know the wild part here? It's that Diddy didn't even try to hide his bad behaviors from everyone around him. I mean, sure, he went to extreme lengths to hide his bad behavior from fans and the rest of the world because he knew that it would have hurt his image very badly if he had gotten exposed for being a woman beater. He often left bruises on Cassie's body and face, and to protect himself from getting found out, he would send her to fancy hotels and on fancy vacation so that she could heal in private without anybody realizing what had happened. She also claimed that he often hit her so hard that he left bruises and welts on her face and body, so he would send her to a hotel or on a fancy vacation to recover in private. And going by this old picture the fans dug up, she clearly wasn't lying about that. At the time, Cassie claimed that she had been in an ATV accident in Dubai, and we all bought this story at the time. But when you look at it, it doesn't even make sense. I mean, an ATV accident wouldn't leave her face looking like that. And get this, she was with Diddy in Dubai at the time, and when you put two and two together, you get a big fat four. Going by the things she revealed in the lawsuit, it looks like Diddy might have put hands on her while they were in Dubai and she couldn't hide from the paparazzi like she usually did. Rapper Azalea Banks also confirmed this when she said, this is true. One time Diddy beat her up so bad he sent her on a three week vacation to Hawaii just so no one would see or question how her face got like that. Azalea is known to be one of the meanest and most controversial rappers in Hollywood so if she's siding against Diddy and back in Cassie, then y'all better know that whatever Diddy did was foul AF. He was so paranoid about this that he even- I don't know, to survive in an environment like that, that one, I don't think you have any other choice but to be super mean. <laughs> How else are you going to make it if you're trying to be in that environment with these animals? 
y'all and made sure that her medical records were sent to him directly for example there was a time when she needed to have an mri done because she started to experience memory loss as a result of the repeated beatings that he gave her as well as the drugs he pushed on her the court document said on multiple occasions mr combs had miss ventura's personal medical records sent directly to his email address for instance when miss ventura began experiencing memory loss potentially due to excessive drug use and or head injuries caused by mr combs beatings as described below her mri results were provided directly to mr combs and even though diddy went over and above to protect his nasty secret from the world he didn't care about hiding it from people around him because he put hands on yeah he would do it he would do it in front of everyone and everyone would literally just watch they would literally just sit there and watch resistance fell away according to the lawsuit mr combs always supplied miss ventura with copious amounts of drugs before and during the fo's miss ventura was given ecstasy cocaine ghb ketamine marijuana and alcohol in excessive amounts during fo's which allowed her to disassociate during these horrific encounters yeah we've been learning y'all those rumors confirming that Diddy is indeed gay. He pointed out how weird it was that Diddy insisted that Cassie hire escorts with BBCs and should claim that Diddy also took part in the freak off. Having somebody, you know, have male, male prostitute in your, your that's some weirdo sh but it's not nothing new. Everybody know that probably be Gus ran in for the longest. That's not like it's new news. Shug then hinted very strongly that Diddy was going to go to jail. Probably go to prison or anybody else. I still, I still feel that way. So a girl came forward and recorded Drake threatening her, had some else threatening her, and they was going to do to her and bring harm to her. I know you got it. At one time, Drake went to the cat and mice game all around the industry. I mean, Wale never spoke on the fact that what happened to him with Cuff, just like D-Pain was over there on the island. He claimed they were trying to get a little fresh with him, but he's probably going to deny it, but everybody knows the truth. His secret is run a boat to go get the motherfuckers to my island. But you know, it's still the same shit. I'm not looking to see now. T-Pain and Wale? Y'all, huh? Just like T-Pain was over there on an island, he claimed they was trying to get a little fresh with him. Oh my goodness. It's cat and mouse game all around the industry. Oh my God. Drake threatened her, had some else threatened her, and they was going to do to her and bring harm to her. I know you got it. At one time, Drake went to the cat and mice game all around the industry. I mean, Wale never spoke on the fact that what happened to him with Puff, just like D Payne was over there on the island. He claimed they were trying to get. What happened with Wale and T, and T Payne? Did he sleep with them too? Is Wale gay too? Is T-Pain also gay? Or did he make a pass at T-Pain? What happened? Y'all, this is just like getting worse and worse. This is getting so bad. Like all of these artists, artists, they are all in it. T-Pain, Wale. Uh, Y'all, that's crazy. I even heard Jay-Z. I heard Jay-Z's name come up. I don't want him to come after me, so I'm not going to say too much, but I heard Jay-Z's name come up, not in this video, not from here, but I heard Jay-Z did a little something, something, something with Puff. That's just what I heard from another video, allegedly. Be a little fresh with him, but he's probably going to deny it, but everybody knows the truth. His secret is run a boat to go get the off the lot either. But you know, it's still the same shit. I'm not looking to see now motherfuckers get caught up. And if they get out the first one, or get out this one, anyone, they better watch because they're still coming, you know. Perfect. I don't want to see you go down. If you need to sell it, I'm gonna grant your 
my secret boy. <laughs> now, he didn't go into details, but from the things he said, the streets are saying that there is a super secret investigation going on by the FBI into Diddy. And from the things that Suge said, child, it looks like it's only a matter of time before Diddy goes down. Suge pretty much said that Diddy is going to go to jail like him, and we all know that Suge don't play around, especially when it comes to Diddy. So if he said that there's a secret investigation going on by the FBI, child, you better start counting the days until Diddy goes down. Well, fans came hard for Diddy and praised Suge for speaking up at a time when industry people are ignoring the situation. They left comments saying, Suge finally speaking. Suge deserves respect for always supporting Tupac. I am here for it. I think we are going down a big, deep rabbit hole here. Everyone is coming out with new allegations every day. The old saying, every dog has their day, lol, Diddy brother love, going down. And Diddy is a damn monster. He deserves every bit of what's happening to him. I don't feel sorry for this inhumane monster. This is crazy, but do y'all believe Suge's revelations about Diddy? Or Heck yes. That that sounds 100% accurate to me. And I did. So apparently it sounds like the FBI has secretly entered the chat. And it sounds like the FBI is looking into it secretly. Let's hope that's true, because otherwise, as this continues to get worse, I have never put out as many videos in my entire life. Because it, every hour is something new. As it continues to get worse, the people are going to start getting really uneasy and confused as to where is the FBI if they not here already, especially involving the this many minors, these many accusations of these things that were happening with minors, especially the ASUS against so many women in such brutality, in such a brutal way, complete animalistic behavior. So let's hope that's true. I believe it. Let's hope it's true that the FBI has finally signed in to the chat. They probably did it. Hopefully they, 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 they're they signed into the chat, even if they signed in as invisible. Y'all know you could change your status to invisible. <laughs> Y'all, T Pain, y'all. Even Will Smith, I heard his name too. That's probably why Jada Smith is not into Will Smith because I think Will Smith sold out because we all know the rumor about Will Smith being gay as well. I mean, I think Will Smith is super into males, super into males. I even heard that that was the reason why his first marriage failed was because he got caught doing what he does with a male. So he was using his first wife as a beard. And she was like, uh, no, sir. So when y'all hear me say, like, are you for real? You're gay. Instead of just admitting that, you want to sit here and assume women and use them as objects, use us women as objects to cover up whatever it is that you feel like you're covering up, even in 2023 when literally no one cares. Huh? Y'all, this is, the stories are just like, OMG. Let me know what y'all think. Leave it in the comment below. Go ahead and hit the like, subscribe button for me. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.